Good morning. This is Pastor Jim Hardy, pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Lockport, New York. Today is the 23rd of December, and I will be reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, just one verse, and that is 38. Then Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be with me, just as you have said. Then the angel left her. This passage is the story of the angel appearing, the angel Gabriel appearing to Mary to, to advise her that she would give birth to God's son. And uh, she, of course, at first is skeptical. She says that she is but a virgin. But as the angel speaks to her more, she becomes more and more convinced that this is, in fact, her destiny. And as she learns more from what the angel is saying, uh, she eventually says in verse 37, nothing is impossible for God. And then at the very end, she acknowledges that she is, in fact, the Lord's servant and that she will follow with what the Lord has said to her. Many times we are faced with questions and doubts, and we must contend with periods of uncertainty in our faith. But ultimately, what Mary gives us an example of is someone who uh, begins skeptical, but as she learns more about God's favor and learns more about God's love for her, she realizes that this is not something that she should doubt, but she should go forth as the servant of God and listen to what he says and carry out into the world her faith. During these times of uncertainty in our own lives, we know that as Christmas is about to descend upon us, that Christmas is an example of God's miraculous faith in us and also the understanding of what we must do as servants of God ourselves, that we must continue going forth in faith and have an appreciation for God's precious love for us and a understanding that God is good and that nothing is impossible for God. Let us pray. Dearest Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to gather together in your name. We'd ask that you would lift us up with rejoicing and love, that we may always remember that nothing is impossible for you. Help us to remain faithful and to be servants of you, stepping forth into the world as your hands and feet, knowing that you are faithful to us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.